Good morning, Year 10 Geographers. We are working on creating our June profile. So the first thing you need to do is open it up to page 5 of your booklet. And you need to look at your table. Now your table should be filled out with your own measurements. If you have no measurements, then you need to use the measurements now that are in front of you. The first step that you need to do is you need to look at this distance column here. And when looking at this distance column, what you need to do is you need to then add up all the numbers in this column. So that means 6.5 metres plus 14 plus 4.05, 10, 14.2, this is 29 metres, 8.8, 14, 13.9 and 15 and that gives us a total of 100.54 metres. So that means that our whole June goes for 100.5 four meters. You currently don't have to worry about this column at all, you just have to worry about this one to start with. So then what you need to do is you need to create your scale. So you need your graph paper now and on your graph paper what you need to arrange is you need to now with your scale which will be here you're going to write scale is one centimeter represents five meters. So you write it at the top, and that means that for every one centimeter, which is two boxes, you're going to go up by five. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty and so on. Now you need to go up so that you include our total that we had so that it it's guaranteed to be on your graph and you have to do it landscape view okay so because the total here was a hundred point five if we make the last one one zero five then everything will fit on our map so down the bottom we write meters because everything it's going to be measured in meters. Okay, so now our first job is to look at our table and we see that the distance of the swash zone was 6.5 meters. So what we then need to do is we need to find 6.5 on our graph here. So using our ruler, once we've found our 6.5, we rule up in one straight line. Okay, it can be as long as you want, but it doesn't have to be too long because you will be rubbing it out for some of it. What you then do is you then have to get your protractor. Okay, now with your protractor, what you're doing is you're looking at the degrees, and you see here the first one is 30 degrees. So we place our protractor on the bottom corner lining it up with the blue lines on the graph paper so that you can see here that the 90 is lined up and the 0 is lined up at the bottom and now you're looking for the angle of 30 degrees and you're placing a dot there so there's 30 degrees and the dot you remove your protractor then from 0 which is the corner, you join it up like so. So this would be zero. And that means that the angle inside this small bit here is 30 degrees. So then you rub out the top part of your line 
and you label this section swash. If you have two swashes, then you would label the first one swash one, and then the second one swash two. So now we've done the first section, we now need to do the second one. So the second one, because I have no second swash, we go to berm one, and what we need to do is we need to add these two distances together so that we go further on the beach. So what we're doing is we're adding 6.5, so we're adding 6.5 plus and then it says 14 meters so plus 14 equals 20.5 right you can note that here if you think you're going to forget it so 20.5 then we go back to our graph paper and we look for roughly where 20.5 is going to be. So here it's going to be just there. So we get our ruler again and we rule our line up for where 20.5 is. Okay. We get our protractor and we need to have a look at the angle. So the angle for this slope was 10 degrees. So what we do then is because the person was standing at this point on the swash on the dune, we need to put up a tractor where they were standing. So it has to be lined up where it meets the swash nice and straight so the 90 is up here the zero is here and we're looking for 10 degrees so 10 degrees is here we put our dot it's going to also the dot there then using our ruler we line it up Okay, and then we meet this line. We're going to write berm one. We're going to rub out the top part here and any dots that we've got. Okay, so that means that this section is the swash, and then the berm goes up to here, and this is like the angle of the slope. Okay, so for the next one, it's pretty straightforward, we do the same process again. So this time we've got 20.5 and we need to add the 4.05. So that means that it's going to be 24.55. Right, and all I've done is added the 4.5 to here. So we go back to our graph. And so we know that that is going to be just short of the 25. So we rule our line up. Okay. We look at our angle, and our angle for this one is really steep, and it's 35 degrees. So using our protractor, again, standing where the person would have been standing. So we line it up, we've got 90 degrees here, 0 here, and we're looking for 35, so 35 is here, then we're going to join it there, and that would make it berm 2, so we rub out our line, Rub out our dot and we label this bit berm 2. Four. Right. And then we go across to 85.54, which is just basically going to be on this blue line. 
for 85. So we draw our line up. Okay, and we get our angle, so our angle here was zero. So using our protractor again, remember it's got to be where the person was standing, so you can't go back down to the start. And then we press mark zero, so it's just under here, and we rule our line. Straight across. Okay. Label our primary June 4. It doesn't matter which direction you label, you've just got to label above each section. Okay, then lucky last. Now, if you don't have one that has a negative bit or a downwards bit in your last primary June, then you need to add this primary June 5 for your June. You need to have something where it's going to be going back down. Because if you remember, the June, you did have to walk down before you had to walk back to the place where we sat and talked about all our map work. So, we now need to add 15. So if you've done your mass correctly between all of the different places, it should add to your total that we had at the start. So we plus 15, it equals the perfect 100.5. So we're going to the 100 point, just over 100. We make our line. So then what we need to do is from this point, because it's a negative 35, we then turn our protractor upside down. So if you have a 360 protractor, then you'll just be leaving it the same way. Okay. Have it facing up the right way, it helps. Okay, you line it up with your line. Make it nice and straight. And then you're looking for 35. You make your dot, okay, then you're going to be joining it up, okay, and this is going to be primary June 5, and don't forget if you don't have this downhill one, you need to add one in, you can add mine if you wish, okay or speak to your teacher about which measurements they want you to use. So after you've made this, this is your profile. The only thing left to do is create your title. So you just write June profile at Wanda Beach 2015. Okay. Now for your assessment, you might want to then maybe write about where some vegetation is. You might want to colour it in a little bit. So colour in each section. So colour in the swash. Then colour in berm 1, one colour. Berm 2, a different colour. And make it more distinctive if you wish. You might want to shade some parts in. Particularly if you're referring to it. And you may specifically want to write. So there is no vegetation here. And then in the primary June. We get all the grass parts in this prime, primary one and two. So we get to the middle, the top of the dune. We're getting the mat rush or the pig face and the coastal wattle. Then in the rear of the primary dune here, we're getting the banks in the rear of the primary dune, which is this downhill part. You're going to get things like your coastal wattle and your um, coastal banks here, so all your trees. So you've got your shrubs, your grasses, in this beginning part, shrubs and trees. Okay, that's it, Year 10. I hope that helps you with your assessment.